Thank you all for joining me. I'm, I'm looking forward to my lunch with men and women who care deeply about the human condition in Burma. Unfortunately, my wife is not here. She's on the uh, Thai-Burmese border and talking about the same thing we're going to be talking about. I, I um, want you to know and want the people of your country to know the American people care deeply about uh, the people of Burma and we dream for the day in which people will be free. And part of my reason for asking you for lunch is not only hear your own stories, hear your stories, but for you to give me advice about what you think America ought to be doing. I've just been briefed on the um, response to the uh, to the typhoon, and I'm pleased that uh, our government was so generous, and I'm pleased that a lot of the aid that uh, that we pay for is actually getting to the people themselves. My, one of my questions is not how much money you get, but is it actually making a significant difference in people's lives? And, was told, it, was told it is. I was told of stories about uh, U.S. money going to buy uh, seed and fertilizer so farmers in the Delta can get their crops in the ground, feed their families, and hopefully feed people in their communities. I, I'm always inspired by acts of courage, and uh, I'm having lunch with courageous people, so I want to thank you for coming. I have a couple of comments, and then we'll, we'll eat some food. Would you like to start, please? What's your name? Uh, my name is Lena. I'm the Palong uh, ethnic. I also belong to the Women's League of Burma, which is an umbrella women's organization comprised of uh, 12 women's organizations based on different ethnic cities from Burma. And we are working to empower women and to be able to participate in the uh, peaceful and reconciliation in Burma. And also raising awareness about Burma. Uh, about the gross human rights violations in Burma that were committed by the military regimes to the international community as an advocacy work. And the military regime is still continues to deploy their troops along the ethnic areas and their soldiers continues to commit systematic human rights violations against the ethnic nationality which includes also rape yeah. which has been used, long used as a weapon of war. In Burma. And, and we are doing advocacy to get the support, political support from the international community. And we are very lucky and very fortunate to have the United States government to support us in different means and different ways. And especially, we would like to uh, give, I would like to give our gratitude uh, to the United States for the new sanctions. Uh, in blocking the import of foreign states okay, right. to the United States. Right. And this is really hitting the regime, which is, uh, and the regime and their associates who have been destroying the country natural resources for their own benefit and leaving ordinary citizens in extremely poverty. Yeah. And secondly, we are also uh, very glad, uh, grateful to have the, our American friends and helping the uh, site clone nugget survivor, the yeah. victims. Yeah. And we also would like to inform the United States uh, government here. And there is still a restriction of aid to the site clone nugget victims by the military regime. And we would like to also request that the United States government um, to put pressure, to continue their pressure on the regime to hinder the uh, to give the access by the local and international community mm -hmm. to the victim of the Nugget Cyclone okay. survivor. And because we are really concerned as a women's organization here, a women and children who are in the uh, Cyclone Nugget affected area yeah. are vulnerable to the sexual exploitation. And thank you so much. Good job. Yes, sir. My name is uh, Aung Zhuo. Uh, I was a student activist in 1988. I was briefly detained 
I spent uh, a week in a notorious Nisi prison. I was tortured there, then after that uh, I left Burma. I set up the Iaori magazine, which I started to document the human rights violations, and I started collecting information from Burma. So we have a stringer who worked inside the country, sent the information to us, and from here and then we release the information, information from here. So we also promote uh, independent press and uh, press freedom on Brian Bar. Okay. And uh, I think we're very pleased that uh, we have this uh, lunch uh, meeting. And then this was sent a very, I think, uh, not only a symbolic meeting, but also sent a strong signal to uh, some ASEAN nations and also to uh, China in particular, because who continue to defend and protect the, uh, the Burmese military government. Thank you.